don't know if you can hear me, but this is uh, Dylan Toe from Everlook Photography. I'm at Petrol Co. I've just finished shooting Dawn, and I thought I'd take you through how I approach this scene. So in terms of composition, I was here pre-dawn, trying to scope out some potential sites. Um, so I settled for this one in the end, uh, and the reason for that being that it's got a curve leading up to the sunrise. The sun's a bit harsh at the moment, so that's why I stopped shooting. Um, but in terms of getting everything in focus, I've used uh, F11 up to F16, depending on the shutter and so forth. And I make sure that I'm uh, safe away from these uh, big waves anyway. Um, at F16, the hyperfocal length is 5 feet, so really if I focus at 5 feet, I just have to make sure that there's nothing closer than 2.5 feet from the lens, and there isn't, so I won't need to focus stack for this shot. I'm not going to get that close to that water anyway. And now in terms of lighting, um, the, the Sun Star is very nice, particularly if I want to um, change the um, shutter speed so that it is exposed to the sky. Um, I went down to f22 for a sun star, uh, but you notice that the sun is causing a lot of flare there, so in order to get a clean foreground, stick your hand way in front there, that'll cover up the sun. You see there's less flare on these immediate rocks down here, especially that band that you can see that comes across when I take my hand away. In terms of uh, composing the rest of the scene, I'm thinking in mind uh, that I'm going to be taking a composite scene anyway, so I'm, I'm take, trying to take shots for some kind of uh, wave motion, which is about like, like it is now, coming across the mid-ground. I'm looking for some cascades over this uh, particular rock here. Uh, I'm looking for just light here, so I'm not looking for any water here. But what I am looking for is take some frames with um, uh, some water splashing up along this side. So in order to do that, um, I've uh, put the camera in first mode. There's a big wave I've got to watch out for. Um, but uh, I put it in burst mode and I set it on continuous fire uh, during one of those large incoming waves. So it's important when you're taking a seascape to keep an eye on what's going on. There's a massive wave coming now. So just covering up my lens for that little period there, it's a bit scary. Um, but uh, apart from that, um, happy shooting and hope that the end result with a blend of two exposures works out. So we'll be able to tell later on.